Hi, this is Gloria and we are going to do this forest right here and we're going to do it in one session which means within two hours you should have this. This is my palette. I have some yellow, same color. It's green, white, blue, and black. Okay, so we're going to start. We're going to grab some yellow. We're going to go crazy and we're going to do it fast. We don't want it to dry. A little bit of white. Okay, let's try to cover the whole thing. Because so this is your sunshine coming through. We're not going to worry about the bottom because the bottom is going to be grass. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of blue. Just kind of mix it in crazy. Doesn't have to be perfect. The crazier the better. Don't be afraid to move it. If you like something, don't change it. Just keep it. Happy accidents. Tapping. They'll make it look like faraway trees. Isn't that awesome? Beautiful. Now we're going to do a little bit of black. Guess what this is? Exactly. Your foreground. There you go. Isn't that wonderful? How do you like that? You don't want to go in the middle. Stay more to the bottom. Little tap in here, you see? I'm tapping it. It also picks up some of that black. Isn't that wonderful? Tap lightly, you look like trees all the way in the back. Very lightly. Keep grabbing. You see, I'm not picking up anymore. I'm just using what the brush has. Look at that. Okay, this is the one inch. One inch brush. How's that? Okay. You want to go lighter? Just pick up a little bit of white. Okay, look at that. Look at that. That's... It's going to look beautiful. It looks like a mess now, but wait until you see what you guys are going to come up with. Everybody's going to be different, but everybody's going to be beautiful. All right. How's that for your background? Okay, guys, now we have the background. You saw how quickly we did that, right? Okay, so now that it's dry, you don't have to wait for it to dry, okay? I just took a breather, all right? Because sometimes we just got to catch our breath. Again, this is the one we're doing right here. You see it? Beautiful. Rays coming. Awesome. Now that this is dry, and again, it doesn't have to be, I'm going to take some black. Sometimes the black is too thick. We're going to just take a little bit of water. You see that? That's just water. We're going to dip it. And I'm using my liner. Okay. And we're going to start doing some trees. You can go crazy making trees. You can make them any size you want. Okay. Look at that. Here we go. Here we go. Little ones, little ones, little ones. And this one came this way, and this one went that way. Here we go. Now, we're going to make... They all do not have to be straight. Remember, trees and forests go in all directions. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit in the far part of the painting. So we're going to take just a little bit of white. We're going to mix it, put a little bit of water, and it's going to become like a little grayish. So we're going to put some here. Look at that. You see, just go crazy. You don't have to be neat about this. That's what's fun. Look at that. See? Oh, boy. What? What is Gloria doing? Gloria's going crazy. But that's okay. They call us crazy anyway. So let's just put it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See? You don't have to be neat about this because, again, all the trees... When they're in the forest, you'll probably see some of the tree. You will not see the whole tree because they're being covered by the branches. 
and the treat itself. Here we go. Let's put some over here. See here. The far away trees are gonna be a little smaller than the ones in the foreground. Okay. Taking a, a little bit of more water here. I love my water. It's, oh no, it's dripping. It's okay. Just go with the flow. Oh, don't panic. Look at that. Wiggle it. Wiggle. 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 Pick up some more. Trees wiggle. All branches are not straight. They're kissing. Look at that. Okay. Da -da -da. Da -da. These are branches. Branches are coming down from here. What about here? Ooh, woo. What was that? I know. I know. There you go. There you go. Put a little bit more white because I want these trees to look really far away. So look what I'm doing. I'm just adding a little bit of white. Ah, look at that. You see that? That's okay. Look at that. These are trees, 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 trees. Make little noises like Bob Ross. That'll make you feel better. It'll make you relax. There you go. There you go. How's that? Okay, guys, now remember what I did here. Remember, you are in YouTube, which means you can slow it. You can go back. You can go forward. If you have fallen behind, just stop it. Go rewind and do this here and get caught up. Remember, these grays I got picked up from here as I went up. What we're going to do now, and some of stuff is wet. Look at this. It's wet. So don't worry about it. This is going to be part of the ground anyway, so I'm not worried about that, okay? So anyway, let's go pick up. I'm using the one inch. I did not wash it. I did not clean it because I knew I was going to use it again. So why waste time, right? Okay, so we're going to add branches. And these branches, what we're going to do is we're not going to cover all that beautiful yellows in the background. You want them to show through. That's the purpose of putting yellow there. Look at that, okay? I'm gonna pick up a little bit more, very lightly. Look at this, I'm not piling it up on my brush. Look at that, it looks like I have nothing, right? That's good stuff, okay. Very lightly, very lightly. You shape it up, which means you're gonna twist and turn the brush. Look, twist and turn, twist and turn. This comes first, and after this, we're going to be adding highlights. But guess what, guys? This is your forest. You're going to add as many trees or as little trees as you want. This is yours and yours only. Make it your own. Say, oh, mine don't look like glory. That's okay. Who cares? It's your forest, right? Yours might be better than mine anyway. Sometimes that's what happens. Students become better than the teacher. But I'm not a teacher, so... I'm all right. What am I doing here? Oh, I'm just adding some little bushes here and there. Okay, here we go. Just cleaning off the brush. That's all I'm doing. Now, it's still wet. That's all right. We're going to add some highlights up in those trees. Okay, tap. And guess, guess, guys, guess what? This is a green forest, but guess what? You can make it into any color you want. You see red forest, you have seen orange trees. Just go with the flow, just make it your own, make it beautiful, make three of them. It doesn't matter, make one of each color, how's that? Just practice, go crazy, relax. A little bit of more yellow. We're gonna do a little bit more yellow here, you know why? Because the sun is shining through, so we're going to do this. If it turns a little bit too much green, that's all right. Just pick up some more yellow. There we go. How's that? 
I'm whispering because it helps me go light. Look at that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the green to the bottom. Okay. You want more highlights? Okay. Let's give yourself more highlights. You say, oh, they all look the same. That's fine. What about if we grab just a little bit of white? Add it to that yellow. Don't be afraid. Guess what? That's going to make it even brighter. Watch this. Can you see that? See that? Lewis is going to zoom in for you. Look at that. It's lighter, right? You like that? How's that? Look at this. Whee! Whee! Yes! Okay, guys. I didn't go anywhere. I just took a minute to step back and look at my forest. Ah, I kind of like it. Okay, but anyway, we're going to do the grass. And we're going to put the highlights on the ground here like I did over there on this painting that's complete. And we're going to do the big tree. But anyway, let me get going. Here's my brush. I have not cleaned my brush at all since I started the painting. I have not washed it because I know the, the colors are all the same. It's just different shades. Again, I'm not going to clean it, but I am going to wipe it off. On my old, old dish towel. Okay, how's that look? Alright, it's mixing. That's normal. All right, let's grab a little bit of green. This is just green, plain green. And we're going to go, we're going to sweep it. This is sweeping. You're going to sweep back and forth. Come on, guys and girls, you know that you swept before. No big deal. Come on. There you go. Look at that. Okay. How's that? I'm just going to tap because this is a little bit of wet. I'm scrubbing. Let's go crazy. How's that? Okay. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of yellow coming right across here. So that we can see that that light from the sunshine has come through to the forest. Now I don't think I'll be needing this big brush so I am going to put it in the water now. Okay. So let's grab... Let's grab this one. This is the angle brush. And I believe this is um, angle brush or oh, one quarter. This is three quarter, but anyway. One quarter is fine. Alright, what we're gonna do? We're gonna kind of go like this from one end to the other. There we go. Remember guys, it's still wet, but it's okay. Because you know this is acrylics and you keep going over and over again. How's that? Okay. You let it get lost. How's that? Wipe it off. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now let's grab a little bit of white. Just to kind of Wiggle, 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 wiggle. When this dries a little bit, we'll go back and put more highlights in it. For well, now, that's good. Now, I'm going to put a little bit more highlights here. I'm going to mix this in. Just going to kind of mix it in. I'm just putting it in. Well, now guess what? I'm scrubbing. Scrubbing, 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 just to kind of give it that little light. I'm pulling from one end to the other. Now kind of slow, very lightly, like a feather stroke. Very lightly. See that here? 
that's a little happy accident. It skipped. My brush skipped there because I'm using an old canvas. That's what's great about acrylics. Just put a little gesso on an old canvas and cover the world if you want to. Okay, now that we have that, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this away. I don't need it right now. For the sake of using a filbert brush, which is number four, we're going to do a tree right here. How about that? Let's do the tree here. Okay, you see that? Okay. Nice tree. That means that this tree in the foreground is pushing everything back. It's going to give you that 3D effect. Okay, look at that. Why am I doing this? I'm tapping because let's just say there's a little bush here and it's got flowers in it. Okay, here we go. Now, do you want to put branches on this tree or do you want to just keep it just the way it is? Sometimes I'm tempted to leave it just the way it is because I like it. But anyway, just for the sake of it, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my liner again, pick up some black, and let's do some branches. Okay, guys, listen, do not press on this liner. If you do, your branches are going to become too thick, and it's not going to look good. You might do one thick one for a little bird's nest or something, but don't make them all. How's that? La, 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 la. Isn't that awesome? Oh, my God. You know, when I'm doing this, I'm always tempted to put red on it because I love red. But you know what? It's not a flamboyant tree, so I can't do that. Oh, let me show you guys something. I'm going to go ahead and wash this. And the reason I'm going to wash it is because I want to show you guys something. I want to be as thin as possible. Watch this here. And it's going to go in here. Go. See that? Look at this. Ooh, ooh, you like that, huh? I knew you would. How's that? How about going up that way? Oh, let's just say a branch came down this way. And we're going to add. Look at this. Let's put it here. Okay, I think we should stop. There's no reason why I should continue because now you guys are experts. You guys know exactly what to do. I think I made it easy enough. Here's that. Ah, breathe. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put highlights on this. But I'm going to wait a little bit, maybe five minutes, let it dry so I can put some highlights. I don't want it to become gray. I just want to give it some highlights. That's good for now. Take a breather. Hi, and we're back. This is my palette. I have not cleaned it. It's still wet. And if it dries up on you, just spray a little bit of water, like misty, not too watery, and it'll stay fresh. See that? My messy palette. Okay, this is not completely dry, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be. We're going to pick up a little bit of white. You see that? Practically nothing. It's almost like dry. Dry, dry, dry. See that? It's See, one side is dry. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to put the highlights. We want the highlights on this side, on the left of the tree, because the light is coming this way. The light is not hitting this side. So let's play with this. Look at that. Okay. You want to scrub it. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Now you say, wait a second, that looks like too much lighting. Psst, no big deal. Grab a little black. It happens to the best of us. Look at that. 
just cover it up again. Okay, let's do this just for the sake of it. All right. Oh, Gloria, you covered the beautiful white. No big deal. On the other side that's clean, I'll pick up the white. Put it in again. I'm going to go all the way down. Look at that. I'm not pressing too hard, very lightly. Look at that. So, okay, well, a little light here. How's that? Look at that. You can put a little bit here, not too much. Just wherever the sun is hitting it. Don't put too much on the side. There's nothing going on here. How about a little highlight on that tree? And what about this one? What about just a little bit on this side? Oh, Gloria, she messed it up. No, I did not. There's no such thing as messing up. How's that? Look at that. <gasps> Fixed it. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. Okay. Let's put. What about we whiten this up a little bit? It's kind of. Let's whiten it up a little bit more. How's that? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. I'm just going to add a little bit more highlight. That's kind of too dark for me. So let's wipe the brush. I'm trying to save water so I don't use a lot of water and I try to save paint. I don't like to waste paint. It's just like people don't like to waste paper. You don't like to kill trees. Well I do not like to waste paint. People laugh at me but hey saves me money. How's that? I think that looks wonderful. We're going to leave it alone. But now that this is dry, we're going to put a little bit more highlights in there. What about we're going to grab a little bit of yellow again. We're going to add more yellow. My sloppy palette here. A little bit, not too much here because remember, there you go. I'm going to be adding a little bit of white. Okay, how's that? Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. That's too much white there, so guess what? I'm going to block it off. There you go. You guys are going to have the list of items you will need for the simple painting. It consists of five colors, yellow, green, white, blue, and black, unless you're going to make a different color forest. Okay, what about if we add a little bit more highlights here? Let's do that. We're just killing time now, okay? So let's just grab a little bit of yellow here, mix it. All right, let's see. If it's too much, it's okay. Guess what? You can always scrub, 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 scrub. Oh, Gloria's messing it up. There's no such thing when it comes to acrylics. You cannot mess it up. You cannot mess it up. What am I doing? I'm just tapping and scrubbing, scrubbing and tapping. You can do this as your partner plays ukulele how's that uh oh what am i saying i'm just having a fun time okay let's just cover some of it here see i'm shrinking i'm shrinking the light that came through you saw that i shrunk it you want to shrink a little bit more let's go on this side scrub look at that it shrunk Okay, I think I like it. Now, remember, I was tempted to do the red, but it's not a flamboyant tree, but guess what? Ha ha, I'm gonna get away with just doing a little bit of red. Hmm. Let's use the same brush. See, I don't like to clean brushes. It works for me. Watch this. Now it might not look like flowers when you look at it real close, but this is not a painting to look up close. This you're supposed to look at at least four feet away, so it can look pretty. 
Try looking it up too close. Won't work. How's that? Look at that. Okay. Now let me tell you that it's your painting. We're trying to do this, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be identical. Every painting is different, even if we do try to paint the whole thing the same way. But look at this. You can just add. There you go. What is that on the ground? It could just be flowers. It could be anything you want it to be. Just use your imagination. There you go. There you go. Oh, I like that. The light just kind of hit that. Turn on the light. Okay, guys. Again, your list is going to be on the video of items you will need for this forest by Gloria. Don't forget to sign it. Put the year if you like. It's nice to remember what year it was painted. I think I'm done. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless you. And thank you for this opportunity.